like about the team's performance tonight that allowed you to take hold of this game? Yeah, I think we uh, came out um, pretty good. We kind of let Tampa came back a little bit during the first period, but then I think we played uh, quick and got out of my rushes the other way, so uh, led the game to opening up. And I mean, great PK, unbelievable game by Stoli, making some huge saves as well to keep give, keep uh, keep the lead. Just like what you say about Anthony and what he's done with two on sideline. Sorry. The score and what he's done in the finals. Yeah, he's been uh, amazing. I mean, playing. Uh, Playing great back there. I mean, making huge saves. I mean, that might be one of the nicest saves of the of the year. Maybe I don't know. That's insane today. Um, yeah, he's been just so solid for us back there and uh, giving us a lot of confidence. What was the message from Craig this morning to you? You guys had a few conversations on the ice. Oh, we're just talking about whatever. Nothing special. What was your mindset coming in here, Willie? You had so many chances the other night. Did you feel like you're you're due for one or two? I mean. Sometimes that happens, sometimes those go in, sometimes they don't. I mean, that's just the, game, the way the game works. And I mean, lucky that two went in today. Hopefully more go in tomorrow. What stands out to you about the way Max can deliver the puck? Yeah, I mean, great pass to me on the first goal there. It was a really nice feed. Um, yeah, he's made some really nice plays. Um, you are playing with him, so uh, hopefully we keep it up. I mean, he's an incredible playmaker. Do you have to keep your head on a swivel with the way he likes to, to mix it up, being on his line? Well, I know I'm ready for him to pass it all the time, so that's uh, that's uh, what I'm coming in with. You're making Matt nice uh, breakaway attempt there, or not an attempt, goal. Goal. Uh, it's a crazy wrist shot from like five feet from the, <laughs> from the goalie, but powered through, so uh, I loved it. It was great. Is there something that gets you going against the Lightning? You've got more points against them than any opponent. I know it's one of your dad's old teams, and there's a bit of a rivalry, no? I don't know. Nothing. Uh, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Matthew, what uh, allowed your team to take hold of this one tonight? Yeah, I think everyone contributed from top to bottom on our team. Um, did a good job blocking shots, keeping away from Arnett. Sully did a great job, and um, yeah, I think we buried buried our chances and, and did well. What you for your, your goal? Yeah, I mean, uh, Mitchie did a great play there. Um, you know, I saw that it was kind of open and, and I had some time with it and looked back to see if anyone was with me and I was, I was kind of quite alone and um, yeah, I, I've tried that move uh, once or twice before and um, yeah, so it, it fortunately worked out for me. Willie said a lot of chances for you to his night tonight. Um, do I should say that one more time? So Willie's had a lot what's of... The, what's the sound I, over yeah, here? We're, we're, Sorry, we're, I'm like, we're I'm like, that was my phone for a second. <laughs> We've all checked our phone. It's just Willie's night tonight. What, what stood out about it for you? Yeah, I think he skated well, um, defended well, you know, um, made some plays, got pucks on net. Um, obviously, he has incredible skill, but when he does those simple things like that, it's um, it's contagious and everyone feels it in this room. What is a save where Stolarz pulls that off the line? And if it goes in, maybe the game changes from that point on. How do you feel on the bench when you're watching that? Yeah, I mean, you, you saw it on the crowd. You know, everyone's up for it, our whole bench. You know, that's a pretty incredible save. And, you know, it kept, kept us in the game, you know, the whole night. You know, obviously, we didn't, we didn't do too well sitting out of the box. And, um, you know, gave him a five on three, and they got a lot of chances. But he, he, he stood his ground and, and played well. Did you know uh, Ekman Larson was that gritty, going back and forth with Gensel? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've seen it since game one. You know, he's he's been you know hard to play against, and that's that's what we need from him. And, and um, yeah, I want to keep seeing him. That's the case when you guys kill off the five on three and you go out the score. And that's exactly what you want. Yeah, I mean, that's that's good momentum for us. Um, you know, we got the crowd into it, a whole bench into it. So that was um, yeah, that was a that was a good turning point in the game for us. Uh, yeah, I made the save and kind of just went to the side of the net and Benny did a really good job getting his stick, not allowing him to kind of get that easy tap in and um, kind of just desperation mode from there and just try to keep it out of the net. Crowd giving you love in that moment, what's it feel like for you? Uh, it's exciting. I think, uh, you know, kind of swings momentum our way. Uh, obviously, they have a, a five on three with an opportunity to uh, kind of swing and change things and, um, you know, by the crowd, I think getting into it, I kind of think it shattered them a little bit and uh, just allowed us to kill it off. How do you move on from a goal where Simo Benoit basically kicks it into your own net? Early on in the game, to then go on to play the way you did. Uh, you just don't don't even think about it. It's, you know, part of the game. It's going to happen. Um, you know, Benny's just trying. Uh, you know, make a make an effort there, and you know, it's just one of those things where uh, you know it happens and it is what it is. But as a goalie, you just kind of forget it and just worry about the next shot. This is more than you played in condensed time in the NHL. What's allowed you to excel at your five games? Uh, just 
confidence and just having that uh, routine day in and day out, working with uh, Curtis on a lot of things on our practice days, getting my rest, taking care of my body, and just making sure that uh, you know I make the most of this opportunity. Going back, Chris, going going back to the when you signed with Florida a year ago, did you think then that you know the next whatever 14 months would turn out the way they have for you? Uh, I mean, it's been uh, pretty pretty fun 14 months, but uh, no, I mean, at the end of the day, I just try to live in the moment and just try to uh, enjoy each and every day. It's a, it's a privilege to play in this league, and uh, we have such a good group here that, you know, it makes it a lot of fun to come to the rink every day. And, uh, you can obviously see the skill, the talent here, and, uh, you know, our mission is to do a lot of big things this year. And, uh, you know, I think games like tonight are uh, a nice stepping stone in the right direction. Oh, we'll Last one here, guys. We'll be, we'll be from afar as an opponent. What stands out to you about him as a, as a teammate? I just think his uh, his poise, his confidence with the puck. I mean, he can absolutely fire a puck, and you know, he's just so smart in practice. He's always pushing and pulling it, and uh, it's just a tough release to read, and uh, I'm kind of happy he's on my side now. Greg, what did you know about Anthony Stolarz before this year, and what is he? what do you know about him now? Uh, nothing different, to be honest with you. Like, I'm, you know, I had him as a young kid in Philly, and, you know, he's been in the NHL for some time now. Um, you know, obviously a quality, quality goalie. Uh, he had a great year last year in Florida. If you look at his numbers, played 29, 30 games. Um, you know, he's played excellent for us. That's what I know about him. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen with the goaltending here, but if he were in a position where he'd have to play you know, a lot of games this year. Do you have the confidence in him seeing what he's done? I said he at could the beginning of the year, both goalies are going to see more net than they have in the past. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, he, he's, you know, same as last game. We have eight shots last game. I didn't look at the shot uh, sheet yet for what he had tonight, but he had a ton of, ton of opportunities again. You know, skating really well, strong on pucks, getting to open ice, and... Uh, you know, he's looking to shoot. The defensive side, they maybe meant, when he's there, does that push his offense when he's, when he's fighting for the he's puck? Been, he's been strong defensively and in good position, and he broke some plays up tonight with his stick. Um, so he had some good stick detail and got opportunities the other way. Why do you think Matt Dyes has been able to elevate his game so quickly this season? Well, he's got some NHL experience under his belt for sure, and then I think, you know, this summer he put in a lot of work and trained. He's... You know, gotten a lot stronger in my opinion. Um, I wasn't here last year, but this guy's strong and he's skating really well and he's attacking. Like he's playing like a power forward and that's got to be his game and that's what he's doing right now. What do you think of Nick Robertson through six games here? I think that Nicky's put himself in some real good spots to put the puck in the net and it's just kind of miss a little bit. Like, you know, puck bouncing on him a little bit or just not clean enough. But, you know, he's working and he's getting to those areas and he's getting the opportunities. Um, you know, I think it's a little bit of luck right now not going his way, uh, to be honest with you. But he's working and he's skating and, you know, doing them things and getting himself in those positions to get opportunities to score. I thought he was, good. He was a good player for us tonight. He was physical, um, had some big hits and was strong. You know, the goal, you know, he's, he's a goal scorer. He shot, you know, he's, he's a goal scorer and that's what he does. So... Um, he's an effective player. How much has Chris handed out of the shot blocks? Well, it's huge. It's hard and, you know, when you see a guy like <clears throat> Tanev and there's other D blocking shots, it, it rubs off on everybody. And, our, you know, our forwards are in shot lanes blocking shots. So um, I think overall we've been pretty good in that area. Do you have a thought on the empty, the empty net or that didn't count? Are you, are you even able to challenge no. that? 